Initial coin offerings, ICOs, are currently big business in crypto. With over $1.2 billion raised in them throughout 2017 alone, according to the financial technology analytics firm Autonomous Next, it would be safe to assume that ICOs are doing very well in terms of raising funds from the cryptocurrency community. ICOs held in Ethereum's blockchain, with assistance from its smart contract feature, have been receiving a lot of attention lately, an event that works in par with Ethereum's price rise. The way an eco works, in simple terms, would be described by a few actions. Developers first present an idea and provide potential investors with an Ethereum address linked to a smart contract. Then, Ethereum users that send Ether to that address are rewarded with an ERC-20 token for participating in the ICO's smart contract. Due to the amount of money ICOs receive through, they've not been left alone by parties with malicious intentions. The process described above means that unless developers find a way to broadcast their smart contract addresses securely to the world, money could end up being funneled to malicious third parties after a phishing-style attack. This is what happened to Coindash, a new startup that recently held an initial coin offering. Hackers somehow managed to get access in the backend of Coindash's website and changed the address potential investors were sent to send their funds to. This simple trick exploited the investors and ended in $10 million worth of Ether stolen. This means that more than half of the proceedings raised for Coindash ended up in the hands of hackers. This really isn't the first time Ethereum users are hit with a major theft in the process of a token sale either. Last year, the DAO hack that came as a result in vulnerabilities in its smart contract was the largest cryptocurrency heist with millions worth of Ether lost. Hackers ended up getting a hold of so many coins that it was ultimately resulting in a hard fork of Ethereum's blockchain in an effort to save investor funds. Since that time, there has been some standardization in how ICOs are held and new documentation is helping developers know how to better handle token issuance. After the DA, vulnerabilities in smart contract code have been mitigated to a better degree, but it is often the weakest link that gets attacked. Provided that raising money publicly puts the efforts of developers on public display, it just adds. You can read full posts on CryptoFans. News, link available in text below.